the topic that i'm going to start today is fast calculation method and this is lesson one in this uh, series there will be two lessons now why the calculation is important see in all kind of aptitude exams to calculate fast is a key to score high in the exam in the section like quant and di calculation play a very key role in both the section of quant as well as data interpretation now let's see how we can calculate in a faster manner first thing you we will learn this addition how to add the number in a faster manner first thing that you need to learn is to how to add two digit number verbally for example if you need to add 13 plus 18 plus 7 plus 19 how you will add this verbally you have to add this verbally without writing 13 plus 18 would be 31 31 plus 7 38 38 plus 9 47 plus 10 57 so you must be able to add these numbers verbally another example you can take 15 plus 13 plus 21 plus 32 you must be able to add these number also verbally now 15 plus 13 first add like this 15 plus 13 is 28 28 plus 21 it is 49 49 plus 32 now if you are not able to add straight 49 plus 32 49 plus 2 would be how much 51 now add 30 51 plus 30 this will becomes 81 so you should not write you have to add this verbally two digit two digit addition next for example if you need to add let's say 87 plus 39 plus 42 plus 56 plus 12 four five two digit numbers you must be able to add verbally now 87 plus 39 how to add 87 plus 39 first i will add 87 plus 40 87 plus 40 is 127 minus 1 126 now 126 plus 42 now i will add 126 plus 2 128 plus 40 that is 168 168 plus 6 174 plus 50 that is 224 plus 12 answer would be 236 so you must be able to add two digit plus two digit any number let's say four five six numbers are there two digit addition you should be able to add verbally you can practice at any time anywhere whenever you are free you can practice take any four or five numbers and start adding those numbers this was two digit plus two digit now what if number comes three digit three one two plus four one two plus five eight seven plus six one two plus seven zero nine suppose three three digit numbers you need to add and suppose that you need to calculate some kind of averages now how i will add these numbers i told you only to learn two digit plus two digit numbers addition now first i will add these numbers in this this is hundreds digit digits first i will add hundreds digit this is 3 plus 4 7 plus 5 12 plus 6 18 plus 7 25 2500 will be the one sum 2500 this is 300 plus 400 7 plus 5 12 plus 6 18 plus 7 2500 now add the two digit two digit like this this is 12 plus 12 24 24 plus 87 now 87 plus 13 is 100 100 plus 11 is 111 plus 12 1 2 3 plus 9 1 3 2 this is 1 3 2 your answer would be 2 6 3 2 now you can see that i have add the two digits plus two digit numbers verbally if you will practice you will also be able to solve these kind of question verbally what if come the questions like this four digit number four two one three plus five two six nine plus four nine one seven plus three two five six for example you need to add these four digit numbers and let's say you need to calculate some kind of addition now how to add this these numbers this is a maximum difficulty that can come in any kind of exam 
now again add two digit first thousands and hundred 42 52 49 32 we will add this first now 42 plus 52 40 plus 50 90 2 plus 2 94 94 plus 49 it's difficult to add add 94 plus 50 94 plus 50 is 144 minus 1 143 now 143 plus 32 add 2 143 plus 2 145 145 plus 30 that is 175 but this i am adding this thousands and hundred this is this will becomes 175 hundred why 175 hundred because this is 42 stands for 4200 52 stands for 5200 49 stands for 4900 so one 775 hundred now i will add the last two digits this is 13 plus 69 now 69 plus 3 how to add 13 plus 69 first add 69 plus 3 that is becomes 72 plus 10 82 82 plus 17 this becomes 99 99 plus 56 this will become 155 now add this will become 17655 so in this way you can add any kind of numbers and this is the maximum difficulty that can come in exams add four digit four digit numbers four to five numbers of four digit numbers next thing after addition is multiplication how to multiply the numbers multiplication first thing to learn in multiplication is tables you must know tables from 1 to 20 tables from 1 to 20 now for example 13 cross 9 would be how much 13 cross 9 this would be 1 1 7 and you learn, have to learn both ways 13 cross 9 is 1 1 7 when 1 1 7 comes you must be able to break this number as 13 into 9 this is very important you don't have to learn straight 13 into 9 1 1 7 1 1 7 is also 13 into 9 14 into 9 would be how much 14 into 9 would be how much this is 126 and whenever the number 126 comes this will is always equal to 14 into 9 you must be able to break the numbers like this 19 into 6 this is 114 and vice versa you also know that whenever the 114 comes this is 19 into 6 this is important why i am asking you to learn both ways for example in exams it comes like this 11400 upon 19 now if you don't know that 114 is a multiple of 19 what you will do to solve such kind of fractions in exam you will try to divide the number but the student who knows that 114 is 19 into 6 he will write this like 19 into 6 into 100 by 19 and his answer will be straight away 600 so it's very important to understand the tables in both ways you have to understand tables from 1 to 20 and it's like this for example 18 into 8 this is 144 18 into 8 is 144 and 144 comes in exams it should you should be able to break that number like this 18 into 8 or this is same as 16 into 9 also 16 into 9 is also 144 so this way you have to learn the tables only from 1 to 20 next things comes squares squares from 1 to 25 squares from 1 to 25 this also need to learn in both ways for example when i say 11 square this should be equals to 121 and when 121 comes in the picture you should know that this is square of 11 square 13 square would be how much 169 15 square is 225 16 square is 256 you have to learn squares from 1 to 25 and whenever in exams 256 is written you must know that this is square of 16 16 square is 256 21 square is how much this is 441 22 square is 484 23 square is 529 24 square is 576 and remember again i am saying you have to learn in both ways 
whenever exams you have to need to solve 576 by let's say 9 into 12 this kind of calculations comes 576 9 into 12 you must know that this is a square of 24 24 into 24 by 9 into 12 in this way you will be able to solve in a fast time and this is 2 this is 3 8 so in this way you must be able to solve the questions in a faster manner 25 square is 625 19 square is 361 so you need to learn the square in both ways next thing in this lesson one of fast calculation method is cubes you must know how the cubes from 1 to 12 it's very important to understand the cubes from 1 to 12 you must be knowing the cubes up to 5 i'm right just writing 6 cube is equal to how much 216 and again you have to learn both ways whenever 216 comes in exam this always means that this is equal to 6 cube 7 cube is equal to 343 learn both ways 8 cube is equal to 512 9 cube is 729 11 cube very important to understand 11 cube 1331 why 11 cube is important because in simple interest compound interest question you need to calculate 1.1 cube kind of thing so 1.1 cube is nothing it's 11 cube 1.331 so if you know the 11 cube you will be able to questions in simple interest as well as compound interest in a faster manner what is 12 cube 12 cube would be 12 cube this will be equal to 1728 and again don't forget to remember both ways whenever 1728 comes into picture this is always equals to 12 cube for example if the calculations comes like this 1728 by 144 if you don't know 172 is 12 cube you will not be able to solve this kind of calculation in a faster manner this is equal to 12 into 12 into 12 by 12 into 12 144 is 12 square so answer will be 12 now this that was uh, all about the methods that we learn in the fast calculation method one now i'm just briefly revising what we did what we did because uh, when we start the next lesson you should be able to practice these things please remember that before the next lesson you must practice what i taught in this lesson in this lesson i taught two plus two digit two digit two digit number plus two digit number you must be able to add verbally number could be four five two digit numbers you must be able to add verbally then tables from 1 to 20 learn both ways then squares from 1 to 25 cubes from 1 to 12 1 to 12 before the next lesson if you before listening to next lesson you must practice this because this calculation will be important for the next lesson in the next lesson i will discuss more about the multiplication techniques thank you